If you have family that speak a different language, then you'll know the frustration of trying to communicate to them by a phone call or even in person. Thanks to Samsung, you don't have to stress about this anymore as they have built live translate features into One UI 6.1. Daniel here from Sam Mobile TV. Let's show you how the translate features Samsung have built using Galaxy AI work. So there's going to be two things I'm going to show you today. The first is the call assist and the live call assist, I guess you could call it. And the second is Samsung's interpreter app that they've built right into the phone offline as well. There's no need to be connected to the internet for this to work. Starting with call assist though, this is the one that I guess got the most sort of hype during Samsung's launch of the S24. Now that it's on a lot more devices, a lot more people are going to have access to it. So you might need to know how to use it. With call assist, you need to first turn it on in the settings, so in the phone app, in the three dot menu, in the settings, you go and turn this on under call assist. Then live translate is sort of part of that and you've got to activate it and tweak with all the settings that are in there. The settings for you as the person who will be talking and then also the person you're listening to, there's some settings for them as well. What you need to do is pick your language and then pick the language of the person you're talking to. What's great here too, is you have the option to mute your voice. So if you don't want to convolute things and make things a bit complicated for the other end, your voice doesn't travel. It will just be the translated voice that they hear. You can do that the same for the receiving end too. You don't have to hear their language. It will just send you your language back, which again, doesn't confuse and convolute things. What you also have the option is to choose different voice styles. So depending on whether you're speaking to a male or a female, you can choose voice one or voice two. And then of course you have the speed. So if you want to make it faster or slower, you have that option too. It does come with a sort of a, a pace to begin with, and you'll hear the pace as you sort of speed the slider up. Take a listen. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. This is what it sounds like when you're translating a call. You can also set the language per contact. So if you don't want to just guess to the person you're talking to, you have to set it each time, you can go into here and set it per contact. So when you call that person, it'll automatically switch to that language to translate. Very clever. Now, call assist in action is very, very good. I just did it to myself at first, just to sort of see the latency and the speed. And at home, it works quite nicely when I'm talking to myself. But I thought I might need to get a proper example. So I called my dad. My dad's Italian. He speaks both English and Italian though, so it was easy to get him to agree to this. But here is the live call in action of me speaking to my dad and the delay and the response time that it takes. Let's take a look. Hey dad, how's it going? Ciao. È in corso la traduzione della chiamata aggiunta di sottotitoli in tempo reale. Hey, papà, come va? Well, thank you. That's really good to hear. What have you done at work today? È davvero bello sentirlo. Cosa avete fatto al lavoro oggi? Non so se è così. Hello? You still there? Ciao. Sei ancora lì? Yes. What do you want? I just wanted to see, is it okay for us to still bring the kids this afternoon? Volevo solo vedere. Va bene per noi portare ancora i bambini questo pomeriggio? Yeah, 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 no problem. Okay, thank you, we'll see you soon. Okay, grazie. Ci vediamo presto. So as you heard there, there's some really good examples of it working. There was one instance where it kind of tripped up a little bit, where the translation wasn't quite perfect, but I just spoke again and it came through and then he was able to respond and talk back to me. It didn't quite get the, the nuance of chow, which whatever, but I wanted to ask my dad how he thought of the other end. This is his thought. 100%. Like when I say chow, uh, say Benny and say, see ya, um, say well. It, yeah, it didn't. It, it, didn't, out, it came out different to that. You know what I mean? It didn't but, quite come out properly, but it, for the most part, it seemed to work okay. Like I think it would work it, with a proper Italian conversation. It would, yeah, because it, the, the 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 translation is uh, is pretty well proper Italian, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and, 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 the, and the voice that comes back to me, 
your voice when it comes, or the voice, the questions it asks is very good in in in, in how the 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 uh, annunciation is done. Okay. That's good to know. So yeah, my dad doesn't speak fluent Italian. He speaks Calabresi, which is the southern Italy. There's a different dialect compared to Italy itself. Each region kind of has its own nuances of its language. But for the most part, he was really pleased with how it worked and it was great to sort of have that interaction. The next feature is Interpreter. Interpreter is really fun because whilst Google have their own version of this, theirs is online translation. This is an offline translation service and it doesn't require any internet. You can access the interpreter via the quick panel. It's buried in there somewhere. And when you turn it on, you get this really nice interface. First in the settings, you can go in here and you can download your language packs and make sure you've got all access to all the languages that you need ahead of time. And then you've got some other setting that you can toggle with, which is the tap to talk function. Tap to talk is basically you can press the microphone to initiate the conversation. And it's once you finish talking, then they have to tap on their microphone to activate as well. However, if you turn this off, you can kind of have a bit more of a free flowing back and forth where you talk and then it activates the microphone once it's translated for them to talk. It's a bit more automated. Up to you, depending on the interaction that you're having, you might want this on or off. All right, let's take a look at it working because it's actually quite good. How are you feeling today? Come ti senti oggi? Molto stanca. Very tired. Can you give me directions to the nearest restaurant? Puoi darmi indicazioni per il ristorante più vicino? What I really like about the interpreter app is there's a little button built at the top that allows you to flip the card at the top. This way, if you're having an interaction with someone here and someone in front of you, they can read it without having to turn the phone around. It's very, very clever. And it's a very simple button press to flip it back the other way if they're next to you. So I like the little nuances that Samsung have built here. And I'm about to travel overseas. I'm going to Sicily for a few weeks at the back end of May, start of June. This is gonna get a lot of use for me and I'm very excited to try it out. That was some of the interpreter and translate features in action. So thank you for watching and checking it out. Make sure you hit subscribe to find out more about Galaxy AI and some of the AI features that Samsung have got. Go check out our socials. We're everywhere you can think of. Come see us on sammobile.com where we got everything to do with these features as well as many others. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. If you've liked the look of Galaxy AI and you want to try it for yourself, check the link out in the description to grab your Samsung device with Galaxy AI today.